Hello everyone, wanted to make a quick news update video for you. AWS just released a new feature called the VPC resource map. And this feature is all about making it easier to understand the components of your VPC and how they're all interconnected with one another. So let me show you how this feature works through a hands-on demonstration in the console. So here we are in the AWS console in the create VPC wizard. And this was the default screen that you had to use to create a VPC prior to around March, 2022. And you had to input just some basic items here, the name tag of your VPC, the CIDR block, and some other details here. Now the problem with this approach is that when you did create your VPC and go to the next step, you still needed to create all the extra components as well. So your route table, your private subnets, configure them so that they actually were private, and then wire all those connections together. So in March 2022, the AWS team released an enhanced version of the console. And as you can see here, there's a new option to create VPC and more. When you launch this page, this gives you kind of a preview mode of what you're gonna be creating, and it makes it a lot easier to create and configure your VPC. So over on the right-hand side here in this section, this kind of is the preview area. And when you hover over each of the elements, you can see how they're all connected with one another. So this one is the entire VPC over on the left. This one is a public subnet that has an entry in the route table here that is piped through the internet gateway. And you can go to the private subnet, see the route table that's associated with that, and then the VPC endpoint in order to access S3. So this makes it really, really easy to understand what's going on in your VPC before you end up creating it. And then in addition, over on the left-hand side here, you can input a whole bunch of different settings and toggle some of the options. So if you want to change the number of availability zones for the subnets, you can do that here. You can see we just got an extra one. And then if you wanna change other things like the private subnets, you can add more. You wanna add a NAT gateway, one in the AZ, you can see that it updated over here. And then it creates all the entries for you in the subnet. Now, once you're done, you can go ahead and click on the create button, and this is going to launch all of these resources and configure them the exact way that you specify in this diagram. So instead of having to create all these subnets on your own, all the VPC endpoints and NAT gateways, that is all taken care of for you in just one simple click. Now this new enhanced wizard isn't anything new. We've had this since March, 2022. But the problem with this is that once you created the VPC, you lose this visualization. So you no longer get access to it. And that's where the new resource map feature comes into play. So if we go back into the console under the VPC section, you can see now under the VPC area, so your VPCs, there's a new section called resource map. And if you have your VPC selected, you can click it. And now this gives you all the visualization details that we just saw in the creation phase. This will work even if you don't use that wizard to create your VPC, it should work for any VPC. So some of the similar concepts apply when you hover over each one, you can see how it's interacting with the other components in your VPC. Just makes it a whole lot easier to understand what's going on and not have to read deeply into each of the components to understand how it's connected to its counterparts. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do, check out this other one on the right where I show you how to create those public and private subnets. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.